All right, so iOS 15 beta 1 was released a couple of weeks back and I'm running it over on this iPhone 8. If I go into about, as you can see, it says iOS 15 software version. There we go. And with it, iOS launched a new feature called FaceTime on other devices. So FaceTime is now supported on multiple devices, be it Android, be it Windows or any, any operating system until and unless you have the correct link to the FaceTime. So as soon as it came out, I instantly went ahead and tried it on day one. But unfortunately, it did not work then. It was actually pretty obvious because this is the first beta and not everything works in the beta one. But now today I tried it again and surprisingly it did work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the FaceTime on Android, Windows, etc, etc, etc. It's pretty simple. First things first, obviously you have to be on iOS 15. Uh, if you want to join the beta, I'll probably leave a link in the description down below to download and install the beta profile for iOS 15. So once you have the iOS 15 installed, you will need an Android device. So this here is the Mi A2. It's a pretty, pretty old device. It is, I think, running on Android 10, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there we go. It is running on Android 10. As you can see, Android 10, it's a pretty old device. It doesn't matter on which Android version you are. You only have to have the FaceTime link. So this will be very much useful if you have a friend with an Android. If you have someone with a Windows PC, it will be very, very useful if you want to talk to them on FaceTime. So yeah, let's jump on to the process itself. All you have to do is first go into the FaceTime app here. And as you can see on iOS 15, it will say two things, create a link and start a new FaceTime. All you have to do is tap on create a link and then it will provide you with a share sheet, which is right over here. In here, you can rename the FaceTime link. So add a name to it. I'll just put it Android. There we go. Hit on OK. And you can share it on messages, email, WhatsApp, or any other social media slash messaging option. Uh, I'll probably mail it to myself. So in the mail, as you can see, it says join my FaceTime and you have a link and then I can send from my iPhone. So I'll just quickly email it to myself. So I have now sent the email and the email will be right over on my phone. As you can see, the email says join my FaceTime and we have a link. So once I tap on the link itself, there we go. You have the option right over here. It says Android from mail FaceTime. There we go. Uh, on the Android side, you have to enter your name. So I'll just put my name quickly and hit continue. And then you'll get this particular option. You have the full screen. You have the mic camera and this is to flip the camera itself. Once you hit on join, if I tap here, it says waiting to be let in and on the Android, it says maybe Hardik Pakle would like to join the FaceTime. And then if I tap over on the FaceTime and if I hit on join, it says maybe as you can see, it said that I wanted to join. But if you want to add someone while you're already on a FaceTime call, all you have to do is tap on the waiting for others and let the person in by clicking on the tick button and hit done. I'll just probably, I'll just mute this because it will keep echoing. But there we go. As you can see, the FaceTime is now working pretty fine. And even on the Android side, if I wave my hand over here, it does work pretty good as well. So a couple of options to keep in mind if you tap on the camera here. As you can see, it will probably flip your screen. There we go. It flipped your screen and you can go into full screen as well if you want. There we go. And then if you tap on the three dot menu, you have an option to share the link with other people. You have the option to view it in a grid layout. You have the camera and microphone options. And you can obviously leave. If I hit done, I'll go back. On the iPhone, you have a couple of more options as well. You can hit on the share button, which is, I think, not working as of now. 
there we go share my screen is not working with android as of now it might work in the future but on the your page you have the filters and you have the camera option if you want to flip the camera there we go and you can either leave from the android side or you can leave from the iOS. so if you leave there we go it says it is disconnected and again you get to enter your name if you wish to continue in the link you will again have to open the link and enter your name but again i'll leave it from here as well real quick and there we go it's out and uh, it did work so paste m under does work right now and it will also be definitely working on a windows machine if you wish to do so so yeah that was pretty much it that was facetime on android or cross platform devices so it does work give it a try try it with your friends try it with your family and yeah that's pretty much it it does work if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah a couple of more ios 15 features video will be coming soon once they are launched so yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one